good morning, YouTubers. Uh, plain old Chuck here again. Uh, out here, kind of spent the night out of camp, trying out my hammock setup, which I found needs a whole lot of work and adjustment. Looks like I'm going to have to get on YouTube and find some uh, better setups. Um, worked okay. Uh, first time I tried using the bug net on it and it was kind of wonky. Slid back and forth and played around but I got through the night so I guess that's a success. Uh, kind of came on here this morning because I got way behind ever since my trip down to Kentucky I kind of like been like spinning my wheels here and haven't gotten much done on YouTube so uh, I thought I'd stop on here and just give you a, a little update on some of the stuff that I uh, received down there and gotten the mail since then and such a lot of good people on YouTube I I tell you what you have to be all you have to, usually about all you have to do is mention something about wanting something or needing something and with the, within reason of course nobody's sent me a new four-wheeler or anything yet but uh, just amazes me at the generosity of the people on here but uh, anyhow we all know that uh, when I was down in Kentucky for the meetup down there met a lot of nice people really good people down there and uh, finally got a chance to meet uh, Carolina Chris and he gifted me a nice cup while I was down there and uh, Of course, Miss Donna from Green Creations and Outdoors made me this nice little throw with my logo on it to cover things with. I'm not exactly sure. I may have to use it for a kabushka before the night's out. I don't know. It's supposed to be pretty warm though. So uh, I was going to do a uh, sticker board update. But I think I'll do that separately a little later. Uh, I do have some uh, stickers that I received over the past few days. Of course, this one's just uh, our for our club grounds here, Big Sky, Ohio. It's a place we clear it off, clear up on top of a, a knoll out in the middle of the woods. We put a fire pit and stuff there. Uh, you can kind of get away from the, I guess, the downtown part of the club. <laughs> and get away and they do a lot of uh, campfires on Saturday nights up there and guys will get together and sit up there and have a good time. So I have to put that one on. And I got a uh, sticker from uh, Mark Krantz. It's a real nice picture of his bike and a picture of uh, and a sticker of him on his bike. That's, that's very nice. Really nice looking bike too. I guess I don't know if that's his bike or there's two different bikes in the picture. But uh, this one may not be. Uh, still very nice card and very nice sticker. I'll have to put that. I'll put that on the on the board. Uh, another one. Another stickers I got was from. Lower Michigan Hunting, Hiking, and Camping Adventures. Very nice sticker. 
Uh, I have to be honest, I've only gotten a chance, like I said, I've been pretty slow lately. I've gotten a chance to watch a few of their videos and uh, they do some uh, some really neat, really neat hikes and stuff. So uh, I'll put a link to their channel in there too, you guys that are all into hiking and and camping, of course, who isn't into camping? Uh, I think we'll find something you enjoy on that channel. So I'll be putting one of their stickers on. And I just wanted to mention, oh, I got some some little ones from uh, Lower Michigan Hiking and Camping too. Those will go on my water bottle. I just wanted to mention um, people ask me about my sticker boards all the time, how I move them around. Well, this this is the answer. I picked these up at Walmart. They're uh, just sheets of magnetic paper, adhesive magnetic sheets. I think and I just take the whole sticker and stick it on peel the back off of this and stick it on the sticky side and then trim around the sticker that way you have a mag magnetic sticker that you can put I made my boards out of metal you can stick them on there and you don't really harm the sticker because if you ever want to relocate them and use the sticker well you can move them around on the board which is nice you can space them out and then as you get more stickers, you can compress them and put them on there. But uh, that's worked out well for me. Uh, but the good thing about it is, too, is if you change your mind and want to use the stickers themselves, the stickers aren't harmed because when you peel the magnetic thing off, you still when you sticker off the magnetic part, you still have a good sticker because it still has the backing on it. So just a little tip, that's how I do it. I've tried using the tape, the magnetic tape, and uh, it works. It works pretty well. It kind of leaves a few ripples in the bigger ones, but uh, this is so much better. It's a lot more work, though. It's a little bit, it's a good bit more work, but that's how I do it. Okay, now. I am pretty much sure that everybody on here has heard of uh, or heard of uh, A.K. Solomon. What a great supporter! I mean, I, it, just every video I do, he comments on. He has sent me. Uh, little gas stoves that he made and stuff that work fantastic and stuff and uh, I get <clears throat> I got go to mail the other day and we were talking about these oh, a good while ago and uh, sent me a little note here if you don't mind I read it, it says uh, my daughter sent me these from uh, Sadutha Alaska. They are made in Richmond, Virginia, and over 98% are sold in Alaska. Keep what you want and share what you don't to friends and family. Enjoy. A.K. Solomon. Well, wait no further. We have a whole box, two pound box, a Sailor Boy Pilot Bread. Now I've never tried these. I've seen, I've heard of them, and I've seen ads for them. But after today, I won't be able to say that because I didn't bring any bread out with me for lunch. So this is going to be my bread. Boy, they look really, really good. Nice and crisp, like a crisp cracker. 
I can't wait to try them. I can't wait to figure out how to close this box either. Sometimes you just have to be smarter than the box. So, I wanted to thank AK for those. I, I guarantee you I'll try them out today. And uh, I'll let you know how they are. And I got a couple friends that was curious about them, so maybe I'll pack some up and send a few over, but not too many because I have a feeling I'm going to like them. Thank you. And then, it's been, oh, maybe a month or so, maybe not that much. Uh, my buddy uh, Jeff over at uh, Redbush Primitives, I think he was, uh, sent me a note also. I save all these notes, by the way. Huh. Jeff says he had this sitting around the house collecting dust, and he figured he, I'd enjoy it or it could collect dust at my place. Well. It won't collect dust. I'll, I'm going to do a little thing later. I got most, not all my axes, but most of my axes out here. I'm going to put them together and get a little picture of them and stuff later on today. Uh, but we had, we had, we was talking about axes and stuff, and or he just heard me talking on another channel. But I did ask him a while back if I could if he had a merchandise store if I could buy one of his hats and uh, he said no he didn't have he didn't have a merch store yet or anything so lo and behold he sent me a hat red bush primitives what a nice logo too, nice simple logo. I really like that. That's nice. And something else was in here. Uh huh. Also sent me a sticker and a can koozie with his logo on it. Very nice. I appreciate that. But here's what got me. And if you guys are wondering why we didn't have a, a, a grand opening, you probably haven't watched my channel enough to know that uh, it's virtually impossible for me to get something in the mail and not rip it open and on the way through the yard. I, <laughs> I just can't do it. I'm sorry. I just can't do it. I have to. It's like Christmas every day when I get a package. So, but I had mentioned I'd had several axes, different axes, but I didn't have a broad axe. Well, So Jeff hooked me up. Check that out. Very nice. I love it. Like I say, I'll clean it up, handle up a little bit maybe is about all I'm going to do to it. Because I like the uh, kind of the little rustic look of them myself. But uh, it's like smooth on one side and got the little wedge on the other side. 
for I guess for healing and stuff. But boy, nice heavy head on it. Nice looking profile. I don't know where you can see that or not. I'll pretend you can. But uh, thank you very much, Jeff. I don't know how I'll ever repay you for this, but uh, very very nice. Uh, I just wanted to say thanks. Much appreciated. So that's about it. I, uh, like I say, I spent the night out here, and uh, it's kind of a learning experience with this uh, hammock thing. I've camped in it before, and I didn't seem like I had as much trouble as I did last night so possibly it's a setup I, I know I need to I need to make a static ridge line and put on it and uh, a couple other things the uh, gonna make a I had to make a separate temporary ridge line for the bug net the way it hooked on was just on the ends and it didn't it drooped in the middle and I, I didn't care for that so I did make some temporary changes last night that will have to be fixed up I uh, I don't know how much hammock camping I'm going to be able to do in all honesty I, I, I sleep really well in them it was comfortable, it was warm last night of course it was only went down in the 50's so that was expected but uh, I just have so much trouble getting out of them. I can get in them, no problem. But boy, getting out of them is a problem. So if anybody has any secrets to that, for old fat guys trying to get out of a hammock, uh, maybe drop me a line in the comments and let me know, because I sure haven't figured it out, other than just bail out and roll around in the mud for a while. <laughs> so it's a... Uh, I, it's it's hard to get over the edge for me. I can't I can't pull myself up over the edge. So uh, maybe there's a secret. Maybe there's a secret I don't know about. This is a double wide. I thought about maybe a maybe borrowing a single wide and see if it's any easier for getting in and out. But uh, I don't know. We'll see. But anyhow, I'm going to do a uh, a little axe video later hopefully today and then I'll uh, maybe do one later with uh, upgrading my sticker board I think I have my newest sticker board out here I don't have them both out here but I have my newest one out here so maybe I'll get the whittling on this mag magnet uh, paper and uh, see if I can't get them posted so y'all take care Thanks so much for the gifts and the stickers and and everything and mostly for your friendship. I appreciate it. So I'll catch you later. Hopefully later today or tomorrow. And uh, y'all take care. Be kind to one another. And I'll catch you on the next one.